I have developed a program called Easy Photo Organizer, which will help you to get really fast and efficient at this single task of going through all of your photos and deciding which ones to keep and which ones to delete. It even comes with an AI model that can evaluate your pictures and auto-delete the really bad ones before you even begin. This is just a short demo, so here are the sample photos that I want to organize. I start by opening the program which is called Easy Photo Organizer. The first time the program starts, it'll prompt you to select a random file in the folder containing the photos that you want to organize. So I select my demo folder here. Now the program shows me the first photo in the selected folder. Before I begin choosing which photos to keep and which ones to delete, I will start by automatically letting the AI model try to delete all the obviously bad photos for me. This step is certainly not required, but it will be worth not having to go through lots of really bad photos manually, especially if you, like me, have kids that's using the camera a lot. To do that, I just have to expand the auto delete section and press the auto delete button. What you see now is how many photos that has been deleted, number of evaluated photos, and the total number of photos to go through. If you have lots of photos in your folder and a slow computer, this might take a couple of minutes. Right, now let's take a look at what happened in the demo folder by clicking this button down here. That takes me to the working directory. <clears throat> As you can see here, the program has created three subfolders for me. It actually never deletes files from your computer. It just moves them into one of these three folders here, save, delete, and auto-deleted. Let's have a look at the auto-deleted photos. As you can see, the program has altered the file names to contain the prediction values. So let's go ahead and uh, sort this folder by, by name and descending order. And uh, let's view them as extra large icons. This gives me an opportunity to eye through the photos with relatively high predictions like prediction 17 here, the AI model wasn't 100% sure of, and maybe find a photo that I'd like to keep anyway. In that case, I'd manually move it back to the working directory by Control X, Control V, up to the demo folder. Um, the program has a button that will reset the file names in this folder if you don't want the predictions in the file names anymore. Okay, let's go back to the program and start the manual work. I can collapse the settings tab and auto deletion section. Um, I like this photo of my son, so I decide to save it by pressing the save button here, down here. Or to become even faster, I hover the mouse over the button to learn that it has a shortcut key assigned to it. Right, arrow right. So I'm just going to press the right arrow key to save it. What happened now was that the program moved the file into the save folder. And as you see, it displays the last saved photo as a time thumbnail in the down right corner. The main image now shows the next photo in line for evaluation, which happened to be a similar photo. I really don't like having lots and lots of multiple photos in the same thing, of the same thing, even if they are good. So I came up with a really nice feature, which I call the compare mode. To enter compare mode, just click on the last saved image thumbnail, or even better, hover over it and find its shortcut key, which happens to be C, so I press C. Now in compare mode, I have the last saved photo to the right and the new photo to the left. Now it's just a matter of deciding which ones to keep by either clicking on it or use the arrow keys left or right. In this case, I think the left photo is the best, so I'm gonna press the left image or the left arrow key. What happened now was that the left photo got moved to the save folder and the right one was moved to the delete folder. And now we see a third photo of a similar nature. This is really common for me. I take lots of photos of the same thing to make sure I get at least one good one. 
Anyway, now it's just a matter of repeating the compare mode process to decide if this is an even better photo than the winner of last comparison. So I press C again, and this time I'm going to say the right one is the better one. So I press the right arrow key. OK, so here's a photo I like. So I press right arrow. This one is not so good. Press left. I like this one. Right. Ah, uh, similar one. I press C. Ah, uh, left one is better. Press left. Ah, now we're done in this folder. You can always undo as many decisions as you want by pressing this button down here or Control Z. Let's open the working directory again to see what happened. As expected, it now only contains the three organized folders, and now it's up to you to decide what to do with them. Preferably delete the folders called auto deleted and delete and rename the save folder to something better than and maybe divide them into subfolders. That's basically it. Really easy to learn and I can go through thousands of photos in an evening without a problem. The program has a few more features that you might want to check out, like the cropping feature, raw conversion, or to use it in copy mode, which is a way of selecting out photos for a specific project without touching the original files. Hover the mouse over every control in the program to get a tooltip showing you what it does. If you want to install this program, you'll find it on Microsoft Store, and it has a 15-day free trial, which includes all the functionality. So please try it out before you decide if it's worth the 10 bucks or not. I'll post a link to the store in the text below, or you can just open the store and search for uh, easy, easy photo organizer. There you have it. For Mac users that cannot find a Windows machine to work on, there is still an option. Install Windows in a virtual machine on your Mac and share your photo folder to it. There are free programs like VirtualBox that should work. I can post a link to a tutorial in the text below. If you like this program, I would really appreciate if you like and share this video and please rate the app on Microsoft Store as well. I'll try to answer all of your questions in the comment field below and please tell me if you find bugs or have features that you'd like me to include. Thank you.